somebody Derek's truck uh, recently. Did a little ball joints on it. Gave me some some trouble. But uh, it's got the uh rocket ridge look at six inch. Ooh, you gotta replace self control ones too. Those bushings are good, but this ball joint, see how it's made in the arm, so you gotta change the whole arm out. So you gotta wait on that. And maybe some tie rods because they're spinning. What? Those new tie rods in there. On both sides. I mean, not tie rods. I'm talking about ball joints. My bad, you guys. The one thing that makes this headache is we've been full drive. Heck, you gotta take everything loose. Like, spin the law. The CVs, you gotta take them off. Basically, the whole thing has to be taken apart almost. Uh, but that's all right there. Um, hold on. We just threw these 35s on here. And you can look at the comparison of mine. That's all I really have. I ain't do too much this weekend besides. Uh, oh shoot, no. I started this Thursday. Thursday he helped me with the passenger side and I did the driver's side yesterday. Finished the last night. Freaking, uh, my balls weren't press. Freaking, it was a little Amazon cheapo, 40 bucks. Uh, it messed up. Start stripping out and it didn't work. I had to go rent one from Dagon O'Reilly for $160. I'll take it back today. Um, as soon as I put it on, hit it with the gun, the uh, impact, it tightened up just like that. All it took me for like a second to tighten it up, and that was it. So now I gotta take it back, uh, get the money back. So, oh, yeah, that's really all I have. I'll see y'all in the next one.